What's going on? It's Alexander here with some more Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Today we're starting out doing the Arrow DLC. My name is Oliver Queen. I've been stranded on an island with only one goal. Survive. Survive and one day use a proper toilet again. I must fulfill my father's dying wish to use the list of names he left me and bring down those who are poisoning my city. To do this, I must become someone else. I must become something else. Something Batman. green and pointy. And arrowy. So far I've learned how to give a bowl of water a good slapping. But my training is by no means complete. Like what if I'm attacked by a bowl of soup? Not watery soup. That really thick, thick pea soup. Whole different fighting style to water. Anyway, I'm not alone on this island. I've met another survivor, Slade Wilson. He's okay. He just likes to take his top off a little too much and hits me in the face a lot. But he assures me it's for my own good. He's agreed to train me to fight and to survive. That day, Slade and I decided to visit a nearby campsite that belonged to our not-so-friendly neighbors. We would need to trust each other if our plan was to succeed. For members of the continuity police out there, sometimes I like to imagine myself back on the island wearing my arrow costume, okay? <laughs> All right. My experiences on the island changed me. Sometimes they even changed me into a small, plastic version of myself. Slade had changed too, but he always had a plan to survive. And we got... There's no doubt in my mind that being around Slade made me stronger. I hardly ever climbed waterfalls at home. Hmm. Danger was all around the island. You always had to watch your step. Okay. Go. Oh, nope. That's something for later. Oh. We actually need to do this first. Huh. It was Yao Fei's bow. Slade had hidden it for safekeeping, but today we needed to put it to good use. I remember thinking at the time that my archery had greatly improved. As well as wondering how Slade had been able to construct such an elaborate shooting gallery. Boom, boom. There we, we go. We were ready to take on the bad guys. But it turned out they were ready too. I have been having some issues with uh, my stuff recently. But occasionally, stuff doesn't activate the way it should. This is good because I got enough things need to replace. Well, well! Look who came back for another hint. Doo -doo. You see nothing. It was going to be tricky to get past unless we thought of something. Luckily, Slade was extremely skilled when it came to not being seen. Yeah, nothing at all happened here. Nothing at all. to be a setup. They were waiting to ambush us like guests at some twisted surprise birthday party without any presents, cake, or ice cream. 
At last, we spotted our prize. A stockpile of weapons that, for us, would make getting off the island next to impossible. What? We had to destroy them while we had the chance. Don't hook that up. So there you have it. Another harrowing experience back on the island that made me into who I am today, into what I've become today. Now I gotta go. Felicity and Diggle worry when I flash back for too long. <laughs> Remember, Probably good keep idea. your arms straight and let go. Probably good idea for them to be a little worried. There we go. Arrow level complete. And up next, once we turn to the watchtower, we will be doing, which, depending on how long it only takes us, it'll be probably the last one for the day, the squad by uh, DLC, which, yes, is the Suicide Squad. Okay, you scum. Code Red. We are under attack. Time to earn those expensive, explosive collars I bought you all. Sensors indicate an intruder has entered from the east wall, fluttered around the security light for a curiously long time, before finally breaking into the compound. Get out there and stop him! Believe me, you don't want to wait for my mind-blowing motivational speech. Yeah, probably not. This is Amanda Waller with a Bell Rev Penitentiary status update. With the prison under attack, I've initiated a complete lockdown. Members of my squad have been tasked with identifying those responsible and taking them out, whether they want to or not. With the lockdown in effect, all prisoner cells have been completely sealed. It's a good thing my team are used to getting past the occasional locked door. I gotta admit, Deadshot is a great leader, even if he doesn't seem to care that he's a great leader. The squad's going to need him if we're going to track down the attackers. I'll be honest, I already forgot what it was. It was orange. No. Yellow, pink, blue. Orange, yellow, pink. Harley yeah, Quinn, Harley. my favorite inmate. I can't deny she's got her uses, especially with that giant hammer of hers. Wait, how did she even get that in here? <laughs> yeah, that security's about as good as that Arkham. Okay, we got that, let's do this one. Boom. 
There's Joker. No, we're not releasing. Really that that's part of a. Uh, I think that's for the hundred percent. That's uh. Might not be, but I think it is. That is an LDL. Oh, I know. That's a Captain Boomerang thing. I thought those were golden. What's King Shark doing? Must be something going on underground. King Shark. For the sake shark. of our intruders, I hope King Shark's been fed today. Did I forget to mention that King Shark actually is a shark? He likes to remind people about that. <laughs> okay, nope. uh... ah. Whee! I'm starting to think that Task Force X is causing more damage to this place than any potential attackers. No. Looks like I'll have to cancel tomorrow's basketball game. I mean, it could be fixed. Okay, that's the Harley thing. There we go. Get all the pieces. Looks like it. Ooh, is that a dead shot? Hint? Oh, what am I, the Riddler? I guess that should probably do it as well. Huh? Yeah, that showed up. I take back what I said before. Whoever or whatever broke in here must have had one heck of a party. Deathstroke. He should be able to help us get past. Not that I'd trust Slade Wilson as far as I could throw him. All right. Yep, this is the Slade from originally the comics, of course, but also the version they used in the original Teen Titans. Really close to it. I think the color scheme was a little different, but it's essentially the exact same outfit. Lights go out. Now we're going to need all the captain. Just right? Yeah. Pay attention. Blue. Uh, orange. Pink. Actually, it's yellow, so the blue. Yellow. It was pink. Pink. Ah! Yellow, blue, pink, orange. Okay. Yellow, 
The reason I'm failing these Last so much mission, is I just team. woke up like five Our minutes targets ago. should be right behind this door. I'm like, I'm not fully awake and fully there right now. Like, five, well, five minutes before this video started. Gentlemen, the danger has been neutralized and identified as a Mr. Drury Walker, a.k.a. Cameron Van Clear, a.k.a. Killer Moth. No, seriously. Unable to access our computer system due to IT not being one of his special powers, he resorted to the usual monologue, detailing his plans to expose the squad in some kind of half-baked revenge plot. His moving speech allowed the squad time to effectively flank and then squash this insect. Needless to say, the whole affair was moth ado about nothing. Alright. There we go. The squad level complete. Turn to the watchtower. And that will actually be where we call it for the day. And in the next one, well, we got two more DLC missions left. And those just so happen to be two involving, like, two missions involving uh, Superman slash Superman light characters. So, yeah, I'm going to end this here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. If...